In this one, I'm gonna show you how we can link up our lights within our scene so that when we make changes to a single light, so for example, if we change the color, power, strength, radius, what have you, uh, those changes will simultaneously be applied to other specified lights within our scene. Uh, this can be useful in various situations such as uh, scenes where you might be working with street lights, ceiling lights, or scenes similar to this. Uh, but by default, if we uh, select that light, this point light, this corresponding torch light, and increase the power, obviously we're just going to see that change being applied to that specific light source that we've selected. So I'm just going to undo that. So to link up our lights, so we see that change be applied to all of these torch lights at the same time. What we're gonna have to do first is just make sure we have them all selected. So I'm just gonna control select these point lights in the outliner. Now with them selected, I'm just gonna make sure my mouse is over the viewport, then I'm gonna go control L, and then I'm gonna click on link object data. Now if we select that same point light here, we can select any of them, but with that one selected, uh, I'm just going to increase that power again. And what we're gonna see is that change is now going to uh, be applied to all of those point lights, all of those other light sources as well, because they're all linked up. And so that's how you can do that. Now, obviously that's going to work for changing things such as the color of the light, again, the power, the radius, that'll work as well. Any setting basically that the light has um, will then be applied to other lights that are linked to that light that is selected. So to undo that or backpedal on it, if you ever want to do that down the line, what you can do is select the lights that you want to remove that object data linking from. So I'm just going to control click these guys. Then you can go to the object menu at the top of one of your panels. And then you can go to relations, make single user, and then click on object and data. Now if we select one of these lights again and start adjusting it, uh, they're going to act independently of the rest of the lights again as they were previously. Uh, so again, that'll work for any setting. They're just completely independent as they've been made into single users. So that is how you can link up your lights in your scenes and work hopefully in a little bit more of an efficient way and also backpedal on that and kind of undo it as well. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. You got something out of it. If you did, feel free to hit the like button, subscribe. But anyways, have a good one and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye.